cousins, let me show you how to make this delicious ceviche. This is my mom's recipe and it is absolutely bomb. Let's get right to it. I'm going to be using two pounds of extra jumbo shrimp. These are 1620s and I like to use extra jumbo because even if they shrink, you still get big chunks of shrimp. I'm going to start by cleaning my shrimp by pulling off the tail gently and then I'm going to run the knife through the center of the shrimp. So you see the belly? This is waste that I'm gonna remove. All I'm gonna do is run the knife through the center of the belly. I'm gonna pry it open and I'm gonna pull out the waste of the shrimp because shrimp also eat and they have waste and we have to remove it. And I'm going to cut this in half. You can purchase pre-cleaned shrimp, but I always find waste when I buy the pre-cleaned ones, so I just do it myself. If you'd like to save the tails to make a stock, that's completely up to you, but I'm gonna dispose of them. I'm going to rinse my shrimp through lots of cold water and then I'm gonna set them aside. I'm going to start getting the vegetables ready. I'm going to be juicing seven limes. We we need the juice of seven limes in a bowl and then we're gonna set that aside for the vegetables I'm going to be dicing up one whole red onion and adding the diced onion into my lime mixing it together and adding in one tablespoon of salt set that aside and I'm dicing one whole green bell pepper and a whole red bell pepper and then I'm adding that into the lime and onion mix in the bowl and I'm going to set that aside for five minutes Traditionally, the shrimp is added to the lime and vegetable mix and the shrimp cooks in the acid of the lime. My mom pre-cooks her shrimp for about five minutes because she doesn't like the aftertaste and this makes a huge difference. Let me show you how she does it. I have a pot going with water on medium heat. I'm going to add in two sasson packets. These are yellow sasson packets and I'm going to stir that in. Then I'm going to add in the shrimp. This is only going to go for five minutes on medium heat so the water never breaks into a boil. It just slightly cooks the shrimp. After those five minutes, I'm going to pull the shrimp from the water and I'm going to add it into the bowl. I'm adding in a ladle of the shrimp stock that was in the pot and I'm going to give this a really good mix. Then I'm going to add in one tablespoon of black pepper followed by three tablespoons of tomato sauce, not paste, tomato sauce, along with two tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to give this a good mix and last but not least, I'm adding in a bunch of chopped up fresh cilantro. Let this sit in the fridge for at least three hours before serving to get all of these flavors marrying and you have yourself the best ceviche ever. Serve your ceviche with tostones or some white rice and this is a great alternative to a meat dish for the holiday table. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, cousin.